So congratulations for, for your film being entered into the, the festival and Thank screening. You. you must be very excited. I am, yes, Ethel and Ernest. It's, it's a, a new film uh, based on a Raymond Briggs book. Uh, it's about his parents, this one. And uh, you know Raymond Briggs from The Snowman. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, this is um, all about his parents. Many people think it's his masterwork, really, because his parents appear in a lot of the books that he's done. And, and this is actually about them. Um, he, we did another feature film uh, way, way back uh, called When the Wind Blows, uh, which was uh, featured uh, a ca couple of characters called Jim and Hilda. And really, they were basically Ethel and Ernest as well. Yeah. And, and this film, keeping in the, in the theme, is, is an animation, isn't it, really? I mean, that must have been very important for you to keep it that way. That's right. It's a hand-drawn animated film. And there hasn't been one of those in the UK for years and years and years. They're like, you know, as rare as hen's teeth, really. <laughs> so uh, we're delighted uh, that we can, we can bring this art back because it's, it's been a bit lost over recent years. And Lupus Films, who are the producers of the uh, film, are ho hoping to revive the art of hand-drawn animation in this country and, and bring it to the world again. There's such a, with, with, with the world that we live in now, everything's about immediacy. So I imagine being able to do something that's hand-drawn and there's a tactileness, isn't there, from, from hand-drawn or hand-crafted um, items that, that, that technology will never be able to replicate. Yes, I think you're right. There is, there is something very appealing that, that sort of connects with audiences. Um, and I think they're yearning for that to come back into, you know, it's, it's great the computerized animation that there is around, but to have some hand-drawn animated films in the mix I think is good. And um, it was all hand-drawn. It, it was drawn in the, into the computer on using Cintiq, you know, tablets. But nevertheless, it's still hand-drawn, you know, uh, as, as if on paper that is how we used to do it in the old days. But it it's, takes as long to do. <laughs> And as the director of this, are you a, a hand animator yourself, or do, so you you can totally understand? Because I'm just thinking about the other filmmakers that will be watching this interview that want to be inspired by you. How important is it if you're doing an animation that you, as a director, need to know how to animate yourself as well as be able to work? Sure, I, I think it, it it is important. I, I animated on the Snowman, the, the original, way back in uh, 1982, and. Um, and many of the other Raymond Briggs projects as well. So, yeah, I, I, I was brought up in my career drawing on paper, you know, in the old traditional way. And so I've had to move with the times, with the technology. I mean, we still do use uh, computer techniques in this film uh, for the vehicles, uh, planes, buses, bikes and things like that, because they would take ages to draw. And uh, modern audiences, you know, are looking for that sort of polish and finish to the film. But... Uh, on top of all that, there's the hand-drawn stuff, and it has to integrate absolutely seamlessly with the CG work, you know. So, um, it's, I, I think, I'm really proud of it, and I think it's a really beautiful film, and I hope people will enjoy it when they see it. And you're looking forward to showing it to audiences at the London Film Festival, which is a very much a people's festival, isn't it? It is one for the public. It is, yes, and I hope, you know, it's, it's a... It's a family film. It's a sort of more adult film than The Snowman, so uh, not for very young children. But uh, uh, I, th I think I think it's going to be quite a hit when it when it hits the screens later on.